All right, let's talk about bots and botnets. What is a bot? A bot initially was an automated script. Uh, they had many good uses. They were um, uh, scripts that would sit and listen and take care of some uh, generally um, harmless activity. It was usually a script, and they started um, in the administration regime. Um, the response to command and, and security was not initially a concern. How do they work? What are their characteristics? Well, um, of course they auto start on reboot so that they're always listening and always working. They're typically very, very small. They have a very small footprint of less than 15K. They can be downloaded and fully customized. That's the code that can be um, uh, downloaded to install. Uh, they usually work via remote um, Internet Relay Chat Server, or IRC. Um, or with a remote TCP port, a channel, uh, uh, maybe even uh, authentication so that they log on to a chat room or a network. Uh, there are very uh, uh, many bots and some have quite a few advanced install options like um, uh, where they will install into or what they will do and what they will listen to, what ports, or how they will call out as well. So bots, botnets, and bot herders. Um, the default service port uh, for many bots is 6667. Now the servers listen on ports 6000 through 7000. Those are the, uh, typically the relay chat servers. Now some bots, like Fatbot, can use peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, the P2P networks that are out there, and they get more and more dangerous because some of these will uh, uh, infect and, and look like peer-to-peer uh, -peer traffic. Uh, Linux and Apple are typically not targeted. This is more of a, a Windows um, uh, problem than anything else. And machines can be uh, chronically infected. In other words, it, 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 there's an infection on a massive scale. It's difficult to, to test this in a lab environment because half the time the, the bot is so infectious it can find its way out.